<clears throat> All right, hello everybody. So uh, this is the Real Madrid fan channel. Um, so Mr. Lopetegui has been sacked from the Real Madrid uh, club. Uh, what do I think of that? Well, <clears throat> I always knew that was going to happen. Um, it's not to be mean or against Julian Lopetegui, but the uh, the job itself of Real Madrid is pretty big already, <clears throat> even without, you know, considering they won all these trophies the past three years. Um, the job itself is already really big. <clears throat> and if you've won consistently over the past three years, like almost every trophy there is to win, the job's going to be a little harder. And um, then you have your board sell Cristiano Ronaldo because he uh, doesn't want to be at the club anymore. It's There's going to be some problems. And unfortunately, there was. Um, <clears throat> it was to be expected. Um, I certainly expected that Lopetegui wouldn't last. And <clears throat> it's not because he's a bad coach. It's not because I have something against him. It's just because Real Madrid have won so much in the past three years. And they go from winning so much in the past three years and then come this year and they're not winning as much, um, you know, worst um, – streak um, in nine years. Um, you have players that are underperforming, uh, you know, Gareth Bale being one of them. Benzema, obviously, he's, he's – you can't rely on Benzema. Let's get that straight. He can never rely on him. He's too inconsistent. He'll have super good games and super bad ones. That's how he is. <clears throat> and then – also, you have Ronaldo who just left, who was probably saving Zidane sometimes, you know. Now you don't have anyone who could do that. Um, so to go from a club that had Ronaldo, you know, who was scoring 50 goals a season, um, to not even buying a replacement for him, and to a club who had a coach like Zidane leave, that's some big changes for the club. And, you know, Mr. Lopetegui, it was going to be a, it was always going to be a tough job to continue that legacy that Zidane left behind. And um, unfortunately, it didn't work out. And uh, that's, that's always how it was going to pan out. Lopetegui wasn't going to last. That's for sure. You know, it was just too difficult. Ronaldo leaving, that's a big, big void in the team. Um, <clears throat> even though personally I didn't really like him, um, he still made the game look easy. He made it look so easy. A lot of Real Madrid fans took it for granted. Um, <clears throat> did I take him for granted sometimes? Of course. I think every fan took him for granted sometimes. Um, including myself, um, but more times than not, I knew he was he he made the game look easy. It's just the things he would do is it's just crazy. He makes the chances for himself, and, and he's really that good. Um, obviously, we could see a decline in the past two years. I think um, you could watch, you could see his stats. I mean, <clears throat> he was declining, so. Um, do I think it's good that he left? Uh, personally, I like it a little bit more. But it is a void that someone has to fill because Ronaldo was scoring 50 goals a season. Um, sorry, uh, at least, you know. Or actually, I shouldn't say at least. But he was scoring around 50 goals a season. That's in all competitions. I'm not saying just in La Liga, but... In all competition, he was scoring 15 or 50 goals a season, you know. Champions League, always, he's he's always there, you know. Always scores a whole bunch of goals. Um, and now we don't have him anymore. So now we have to cope with that. 
obviously Florentino Perez, you know, he wanted to bet on Bale. That he, Bale would bail us out, you know. And, uh, you know, so far it hasn't worked out. <clears throat> I thought Bale was going to be the good, that kind of player, but um, he's, he's just not. I, I don't know what's going on. Um, I, I just think it's his style of playing. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't always suit La Liga. Um, it, 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 he's he's different play. He's not a very technical player. Obviously, he got a lot more technical over the years um, being at Real Madrid, but he's still missing a little something, and um, I don't think he'll ever get that, and that's just something we'll have to deal with. Um, so we can't rely on, on Gareth Bale, obviously. He's had six goals without – or six games without a goal, and that is quite a bit, and it, it's kind of sad because uh, he is a good player, but – He's not going to be a Ronaldo, you know. <clears throat> he he is good. He has all the qualities Ronaldo has. But um, something about that, about his game is missing, and I can't say what it is. Um, I can't get my finger on it. Maybe one of you guys could. Uh, but he, he's, he is a good player. Um, just something missing that Ronaldo had that he hasn't. Maybe it's fight, maybe it's determination. I don't know. There's something missing. Um, so the sacking was bound to happen, obviously, because of those things. Uh, and then you have Asensio. Asensio is a good player, but um, he, he's not He's not there yet. He still needs developing. And... Um, and then who else do you have? You have Benzema, who's really inconsistent, but really good. You know, he's a good player. He's one of the top number nines in the world. That's for sure. I'll give that to him. <clears throat> do I want another number nine? Probably not. I'd probably stick with Benzema. But you can't rely on Benzema. It's not like Ronaldo, where you can rely on him. You need another player who you can rely on. And... um yeah, we'll just have to wait and see who that player is going to be. Because so far, doesn't seem like we have one. Gareth Bale, I wouldn't even say it because he's been goalless in the last six games. At the same time, is it Lopetegui style that kind of, you know, this is the thing with Lopetegui is that he's he's more of a possession type coach. You know, he waits, um, tries to find spaces, but mostly keeps possession of the ball, um, not very direct. And Real Madrid's not like that. I mean, that's not the philosophy of the club. Um, that's more of a Barcelona philosophy to keep possession, to try to find those little passes. I mean, Real Madrid is just counterattacking football, you know, just straight, you know, very direct football. And in Lopetegui, we didn't have much of that. And maybe that was the problem, you know, is that Lopetegui's philosophy doesn't really um, fit what the Real Madrid players um, anticipated or what they what their strengths are. Because um, with Zidane, it was very direct, counterattacking football. Ancelotti was like that too. Mourinho also. So these players, um, you know, they – it was probably very different for them to play like that. And it didn't really work to their advantage. Um, the Classico, I watched the Classico, and, I mean, it wasn't that great. I'll admit it was kind of a harsh result, but um, it was deserved. Um, Veron didn't have the best game in the world. Bale... I guess he didn't track back on the first goal. He gave Jordi Alba a lot of space. Um, I don't know if that's Nachos or if that's Gareth Bale's mistake, but um, that right-hand side, or that left-hand side, I should say, for Barcelona, they had the balls. I mean, they were so dangerous there. That's where, that's where they were doing all their stuff. 
and it was horrible. Um, and you know, poor poor Mr. Lopetegui because he had a hard job coming in, and I knew that he was going to get fired. I knew it wasn't going to last long. Um, at one point, I thought I thought I was wrong, but it it didn't last long. I, I was right. I was right. Now, um, now we'll see who's the next who the next coach is going to be. I've seen Mourinho rumors, Conte. I've seen, but doesn't seem like he'll be coming anymore. Um, yeah, we'll we'll have to see. Obviously, like I said, I saw this coming. I knew it was going to happen. It's just a matter of time. And now we'll have to see who's going to be the coach, the next coach. So, yeah, that's all I have for today. So um, hopefully I'll keep posting some videos. Um, I kind of want to post a video a day, hopefully. That's my that's my end goal. Um, and, yeah, um, keep watching, keep liking, keep subscribing. I'll post more videos in the future. And, uh, yep, until next time. See ya.